Hello and welcome. My name is Joshua Markle and I am an Applications Engineer at Cree and I will be your host for this video application note on electrical overstress. This is part one of our two-part series where we will establish some background information on electrical overstress, common causes of this phenomenon, and the effects it can have on LEDs, reliability, and performance. In part two of our series we will demonstrate the capturing of an actual EOS event and methods used for protection. This video series is provided as a supplement to the application note available for download at Cree.com. Electrical overstress is defined as an event in which an electronic component or assembly is exposed to an electrical current or voltage in excess of the maximum tolerances specified by the manufacturer. EOS can potentially cause damage to the electronic device that is exposed instantaneously or over a period of time. EOS events are transient meaning they occur within a short period of time, usually less than one second. EOS is differentiated from ESD, or electrostatic discharge, which is primarily an issue during manufacturing or handling. ESD events are usually measured in tens of microseconds. EOS events are often referred to as spikes, as in current spikes or voltage spikes. Common events that lead to EOS damage include voltage, current spikes, lightning strikes, and any temporary or unexpected connections to supplied power or shorts to ground. Events occurring when connecting an LED to an energized power supply or when turned on are referred to as hot plugging or inrush. The overcurrent produced during a hot plugging or inrush event can range from a few percent to many times the normal operating current. An LED that has been subjected to an EOS event will often exhibit rapid and negative changes in the electrical or optical characteristics. The amount of change is dependent upon the amplitude, duration, and frequency of the event. Changes occurring from EOS exposure typically result from the associated and localized heating causing junction damage, conductor fusing, or a combination of both. A simple and easy way to diagnose that an LED has been subjected to an EOS event is to measure the forward and reverse bias characteristics and compare that data to a known good device. A damaged device will often exhibit a change in forward voltage, shorted characteristics, and or a change in reverse leakage current. Reverse leakage can be measured by supplying minus 5 or minus 10 volts DC and measuring the current. If the equipment is not available to perform these types of measurements, you can use the resistance or diode function of a multimeter and compare the suspect device results to that of a known good device. When using a multimeter, several measurements of known good devices should be performed to ensure an accurate diagnosis of the device in question. Once a diagnosis has been made, a closer inspection will often identify damage within the LED package or on the surface of the LED chip itself. The resulting damage will often present in the form of fused bond wires or damage to the LED chip. Although the EOS damage can occur at any location across the device, the most common areas are near the bond pads, at the edge of the electrodes, or within the emitting area. This concludes part one of the electrical overstress application note. Please be sure to check out part two, where we will demonstrate actual EOS events and simple methods of protecting LEDs from the damaging effects. For additional information on EOS, please refer to the application note called Pulsed Overcurrent Driving of X-Lamp LEDs and the previously mentioned electrical overstress application note. These application notes are available for immediate download from Cree's comprehensive document library at Cree.com. Cree now offers tempo testing to aid customers in the design, verification, and testing of applications using LED technology. A portion of this testing focuses on the LED power source and its effectiveness in filtering electrical transients, commonly associated with EOS. Please refer to Cree.com and search Tempo for additional details on this program.